curses. No sign of the other treasure down here either. But at least I know where one of the treasure chests all happened to be. And um, yeah, I saved it for you guys because come on, opening treasure chest. You never know what you're gonna get. That's so exciting. And this time around, oh, red paint bucket decoration. And we also managed to get a few shiny gemstones. And I'm noting that these are the like really low level well, I say low level. They're shiny and beautiful to me, but these are the gemstones that are like only worth a little bit. And if we recall on the tougher islands, we actually did find treasure chest that had gemstones that were worth a lot more. Very shiny. Not as shiny as my absolutely amazing dream drop that I'm kind of obsessed with, but shiny. Shiny nonetheless. And you know what else is shiny? my hopes and dreams as we carry on with our adventures here in Moonstone Island and hopefully are about to go ahead and run across another Moonstone. I can't remember if we already found the one here. I actually think we may have because our amulet is not glowing and our amulet glows if we're near the presence of a Moonstone. So... Apparently, this lovely little island that we have yet to name, it's it looks like a fish. Oh my gosh, it's shaped like a fish. Fish Falls. This is now Fish Falls Island. You heard it here first. <laughs> but apparently, this island does happen to have quite a... Um, Quite a few water types, which I would be very happy to work with in the future. But right now, we are once more on the Moonstone... Well, like, Moonstone Search? It, it, it really is almost like wishing on a falling star or something exciting like that. Alright. Well, let's head off. And we'll explore what the next island has for us. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, I think I have a treasure map that, that looks like this. <gasps> I think I have a treasure map that looks like this back at home! Or maybe not quite this complex. This kind of looks like the Rosetta Stone. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, but let's see if we can find another one of those beautiful gemstones that allow us to forge such, um, such important bonds with our spirits. Now that the sun has set and we are on another new island. Oh, I really love exploring, especially because it usually leads to new plants. And especially because we definitely need the resources because we have so many spirits I want to tame and so little flaxseed and so little time to be able to grow anything since... Ooh, treasure map! Yes! Oh, does this one look like anything we've already found? Oh, it's Bolt Island. Right? Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's Bolt Island! It's Bolt Island! Can we make it to Bolt Island before the sun sets? Oh, what's this? Nice purple gemstone. Um, because that's 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 Bolt Island. <gasps> oh. I'm not even gonna say hi to him. I just about inhaled like I don't even know, like my heart or something we found the moonstone but the fact that the only sound i heard was just the chicken house approaching magic man you're terrifying there were literally no spirits anywhere on that island i was just kind of minding my own business searching for moonstones and pretty plants and all of a sudden i just hear Mrrr. that was terrifying that was that was that was like very terrifying. Also, not right now, little one. I'm busy. I'm busy. I've got to go ahead and find the buried treasure. No, I've got to find the buried treasure. So I've never used one of the treasure maps before, and I'm not sure if like the buried treasure is going to be like map of buried treasure. Okay. Okay. It's almost like this little guy is guarding it. Okay. So I don't think it's like that. And then I think, oh, really little friend? You really want to do this? I'm in the middle of a treasure hunt. I am totally in the middle of a treasure hunt. But, uh, you know, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a little bit of uh, experience for all of my wonderful, wonderful spirits. All right, let's go ahead and... At least we're getting to the point where I I'm really learning the flow of the heart of the cards and we can go ahead and just like clear through. There we go, there. 
clear through some of these efforts rather quickly, and it does indeed give us more of the experience we need to level up in our spirit mancy, so can't complain. All right, let's come on. Okay, so how does one uncover buried treasure? Do I, do I just dig? Apple seed, do you wanna, okay. And maybe you guys aren't quite 100% helping, but I appreciate the effort. Oh man, why does it have to be? Okay, the fluff foxes, I think are the guardians of this treasure. <gasps> we found it right at the same time. Oh, wow, that, that that's a big old, that's a big chunky fox. <laughs> Okay, CV, go, go, go. Let's bash. Okay, I'm very excited. And then let's see, how many tackles do we have? Just the one. So let's tackle with Taro. And then we're gonna go ahead and zap. Wow, this, actually the bosses are a little harder than I remember. Considering we've only fought, I think one boss so far. I, maybe my memory isn't exactly super long, but still. All right, 15 electric damage three times. Wow, that's really strong at this point. Uh, and then we'll go ahead, and I think we're going to have to take on the boss after this. But look at that apple seed! You have got such fantastic defense at the moment, and oh, do I ever wish. Jeez, mine spike is strong. And a little tackle from apple seed to finish it up. Good job, you three! I feel like I should definitely like feed them a treat or something because that was amazing. And we found our very first buried treasure. I wonder what happens to the map after we're done. Whee! Look at all this. <gasps> Moonstone was in there. And then, uh, oh, no, 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 not you, not you, not you, dude. I can, I can handle a lot. Not that, not Scarecrow Man. I will take eyeball octopus like starfish before I will take Scarecrow Man. Oh, hey, and speaking of like, okay, that's fine, Paulo. Just disappear into thin air, Paulo. Make me wonder if you are all actually spirits and that's like the secret of this island is that actually there isn't anybody but me on it, Paulo. That was, you know, that was an experience, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not one that I expected to have either. Like him just disappearing in front of us like that. Oh my gosh. But we did actually find a moonstone. Yes, so that, that will put us, I think, one moonstone away. Since we, you know, we found one on the island and one in the treasure chest. That will be one moonstone away from being able to go ahead and have possibly the glider. I wish I could say the greenhouse, but I still have not really put a true amount of effort into drawing ahead and attempting to understand where the sea glass is. And I have refused to allow little birdies to tell me, aka, you know, just, I mean, come on. You don't want to just like walk in there and like look it all up. Come on. You gotta have a little bit more fighting spirit than that in some way. All right, and then let's go ahead. Do I have anything? I kind of want to keep my dream drops because the psychic creatures are already kind of rare. And I think that the dream drops might make good gifts. Oh, and when you have cleared a treasure map, you could sell it. That's interesting. It, it's like, but I already got the treasure. Why do you guys want it? Like, that's really funny. And then we found a purple gemstone that I could sell as well. But why on earth would I do that? They're really cool. I don't want to sell my cool stuff. And this is now, this is a treasured memory. <laughs> now that it is the very first treasure map that we have actually gone ahead and discovered. Yeah, no, that's that's coming home with me and that's going in the, the old memory bean box. And who, who even knows what else is in the memory bean box or should be in the memory bean box. How would I know if I've forgotten, if I should have remembered? It's kind of late, isn't it? I think we should go ahead and go to bed because that's, that's, that's going somewhere with those thoughts that is. All right, let's go ahead and uh, actually, I do want to reward our awesome spirits for their hard work today. And look at that, Taro, you've leveled up. And Taro is really fantastic at helping us to stay safe from spirits who are following us because they give us a chance a, to have an awesome card that allows us to flee 100% if we do pull it, and B, to 
well, actually B, they're amazing psychic powers that do both armor damage and tremendous power damage. Uh, and C, they also have that special ability, Tranquil Trot, to make it so we are less likely to be pursued by wild spirits. Just also, they end up getting completely smashed quite often. Ooh, Mind Spike Plus. Deal 14 damage, receive one armor. That sounds wonderful, Taro. Congratulations on, like, getting that as your random bonus. And also CB, I'm going to actually have you... Your armor's been pretty good. Hmm, Bash Strength determ determines Bash Strength and who goes first in battle. <gasps> I'm going to put that as your speed then. Ooh, Skill Surge. Apply two charge and draw two cards. You know what? We'll take that one. Thank you, CB. Appleseed, how are you doing? Appleseed, I'm going to increase your armor because you're just like already ridiculously strong. Um, and then we could... I will learn Dropkick. I worry I'm, I'm giving Appleseed too many of the cards and we actually need to like, you know, slow our roll a bit there, but... Eh. And also let's upgrade one of these. Oh my word. Let's upgrade this Mind Spike. Double the damage. I'll take it. <laughs> Good job, Taro. If Taro, like, Taro is also Taro Root in, uh, on Hawaii. And Taro turns into Poi. And it's very culturally significant. So that's why I end up just leaving the name Taro. But I feel like I need to give that awesome Tranquil Trotter, you know, their own name. And also, we have just leveled up in Forging. Yes! So we now have that. We have already got Moonstone Minded and Moonstone Mancer, which is awesome because it increases that chance of just dropping Moonstones, as we saw. Wood Thumb. 20% more wood. We need that. More than being able to see at night. More than being able to have the itty bitty spirits like Shu. We need that wood because that wood becomes spirit stalls. And also, the greenhouse. <laughs> Look, it's good to be able to stay focused on goals, isn't it? All right, now that that's done, and another beautiful morning begins. Ooh, look, we have a new letter. Ophelia. Just a quick reminder to everyone, please do not damage the rocks and trees in town. If you are in need of materials, there are plenty to the north of town, or even on the beach. Thank you. Hey now, I don't think I did that. I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything like that, Ophelia. Like, there's no reason to, uh, even glance my way in a conversation about cutting down trees. And also, the north of town is now my house. Like, rude. This is my place now. I live here. Don't cut down my trees. I- I struggle with, you know, already not cutting down my trees. Ah, <sighs> I don't need people coming along and cutting them down for me. All right, let's go ahead and start the ingots for the day to get some copper. Whoops, okay, I really need to get into a better flow with being able to like drop, start, and pick up, drop, and start. There we go. And then we'll go check in on the spirits before we go into town. And let's do that one, there we go. Sell Zed this new spirit drop stuff, as well as go ahead, maybe do a little visiting. Um, let's see. Have we turned in the nightshade seeds by selling them yet? We haven't! <gasps> and I forgot. Oh my gosh, it's almost the end of the season. What am I doing? I mean, moonstones are important, and now that I remembered, like, we're running out of our rare seed opportunity, and it'd be a whole year before I find spring seeds again. Oh no, that, no, that's too long. I need those seeds sooner than that. All right, we need to start searching for them. Oh my gosh, this place isn't even open yet. What? Well, once more. Hey, Quill. How you doing? It's my birthday tomorrow. Oh boy, I'm glad you told me that. I love birthdays, especially mine. That's really awesome. What else do you happen to love? Happy early birthday? Okay, he's very happy about that. Uh, I think I can give you a gift right now. I think you like the gemstones, though. I'm gonna hold off on giving him a gift in case that counts as his weekly gift and I can't give him a birthday gift. I don't know. It's just not the same if I try to explain to him, Oh, no, no. I was just giving you your birthday gift early. It just, it doesn't come across. Oh. Oh. 
Rumor, are we getting in trouble for your Om Nom Chompin? Of, you know, of, of the grass in town? Nah, surely not. That, 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 that can't be the case, right? Uh, and, you know, I don't think you need to fish the seagrass. Or glass, I should say. I wonder if the sea glass is actually something that you get from the water spirits dropping their resources. And thankfully, we'll be able to find out pretty soon because we're going to be popping over to Zed and picking up a few of our water spirits in just a moment here. But first, seeds. How's your work going today? Take care out there. Thanks, Ophelia. Um, let's see. Would you like this nightshade? Thank you. Okay, she just kind of takes that as the normal one. And let's go ahead and sell her... I guess we can go ahead and sell her like a few nightshade seeds because we're not going to be able to get any more for a while. There we go. And we can't grow them before the end of the season. And then, what are you guys selling? Oh my gosh, plants. Oh, I shouldn't have looked. I shouldn't have looked. But they have a jade plant for sale. They have a jade plant! How could you... Okay. I gotta do it. I have to have whatever plant they had available. It's just, it's required for my soul. Can I help you? So, Guyana, I, I hope you're doing well. Would you like a nightshade? Thanks. Okay, I knew she liked that, thank goodness. Uh, meanwhile, maybe we can go ahead and talk about how amazing this new plant species is. Okay, maybe you don't want to talk about the nightshade. Um... But what about those fire flowers? Right? I'm sure I'll find some for you guys any minute now. Any minute. I don't want to say I promise because I might break that promise and then I'd feel bad. <laughs> oh, speaking of promises, I do need to help out with Rowan. Oh no, so much to do. Do you need any new tools? Let me know. I'm bored. Oh, Farah, it's good to see you. Oh my gosh, and because we have another heart with her, the chance of joking and chatting has gone up. Like, that's just so... Aw. Okay, maybe we were a boring conversation at the end, but that was just really exciting. I couldn't stop. Um, let's see. We could sell... So oh man, these iron ingots actually sell for a ridiculous amount. Are you kidding me? Should I be selling these? Probably not. Did I do it anyway? Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's actually extremely exciting. Um, let's see. And then, really, the moonstone tools are the only ones that we have left. And she doesn't sell moonstone, does she? Nope. The moonstone tools are the only one we have left for, like, the axe and the hammer and everything like that. But we could go ahead and reinforce our watering can. Two seeds at a time. And then maybe a greater watering can if I sold a little bit more. Might as well do that. Might as well sell just, like, a few more of these copper ingots and then we'll go ahead and upgrade to the greater watering can just to make life a little easier on ourselves and also speaking of making life easier how would you like some copper ore as a gift sweet i'm really glad that she likes that because you know not everybody who runs a shop related to the things that you buy like the things that they sell <laughs> like the fish and and that very awkward, um, I think it's, it's Tobin. Yeah, I still feel bad about that. Hey Zed, how are you doing today? I hope that everything has been going well with your research. And I'm very excited to add my new contributions. Yes, that was good across the board. All right, let's sell spirit resource. Dream drop. There we go. We have now upgraded spirit poop. Somebody has to do it. And I'm willing to be that somebody. Also, I think we can go ahead and turn in a lot of spirit research. Neat! Eh, not bad, not bad. I'll take it. It'd be interesting if we end uh, to see if we end up with like the spirit brush recipe from Zed, as I very much want it so that we can go ahead and give some of these wonderful new additions to our families. Uh, you know, like a good brushing. How I'm gonna brush a ghost no idea. But considering that we have discovered that, oh my, those psychic types and their dream drops are an excellent resource. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move look, look at you. I kind of want to name him Achu. <laughs> T 
to the spirit barn. And then let's also move these fish bow to the spirit barn. And if we have room, both of these capacities, there we go. And anybody else? We do have Glitter Crunch and, oh, Glitter Crunch and Tumble Tail. Oh, you know, it would be nice to be able to see those guys just chilling in the, the spirit barn too. All right, I need to get more wood before I can see any more, but that, that should be a nice addition. Wow, look at that wiggly thing. But that should be a very nice addition to our little spirit barn. Excellent, excellent. Let me see if I can, can I get behind here? Ugh, no, I want to like, eh, I'm getting stuck behind everything. This wouldn't happen if she would just let me clear a tree or two, but boy, that would be like the pot calling the kettle, right? Getting upset about cutting down trees. And then getting upset that Ophelia gets upset when I cut down trees. All right, up we go. <gasps> my jade plant! I just rem Oh my gosh, I love it. It's tiny and small and cute! Where am I even going to put you? I need more plants. That's, I mean, obvious. Okay, I'm going to put you next to the palm tree so you're not lonely. That, okay, apple? Ap apple seed? Not snack. Remember, if the plants are in pots, they're friends, not food, okay? Meanwhile, speaking of friends, look at everybody! Oh boy, we're going to be busy. I... I'm going to be quite a, uh, a busy Siri feeding all of these wonderful little spirits. But I think the happier we make them, then the more likely we might find some nice resources. And also I might move them around so that my water types are with each other. Hmm. But I think I need extra spirit stalls before I can do that. <laughs> and now we happen to have some of the clay as well. Sweet. All right. Huh. Dang. So I'm learning how to make money, like ridiculously hand over fist. The answer is going into the mines, craving the mines. And we're gathering lots of resources. We're now making a home for our spirits in the spirit barn. I think we're doing great. <laughs> I think what I'll do now is I'll spend the rest of the day going around and collecting up some of the things that we have been so diligently gathering. Oh wait, no. No, I won't. No, I won't. I will come back and we will be together, my friends, because we have that all important expedition. The search for the seeds of spring. Ha. Huh. But first, uh, I'm going to go get his snackies and then I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, you should probably get his snackies too. You're probably hungry. Or, you know, just maybe some water. Good to stay hydrated. And if you eat an apple, well, if I can get it behind me, that'll be a little less awkward, eh? <laughs>